And we're going to go ahead and take a live look at Kelly Field in San Antonio. This is a former Air Force base. This is where WNBA star Brittany Griner is expected to land in the next half hour or so after being released in a Russian prisoner swamp. The Biden administration secured her release in exchange for an arms dealer following months of negotiations. NBC's Alice Barr reports. Um, the Relieved Clinton. elation today. I'm going to smell right now. <laughs> For the family of WNBA star Brittany Griner, released from Russian custody after 10 long months behind bars, she was sentenced to nine years over marijuana vape cartridges she says were medically prescribed and accidentally packed on a trip to Russia. Brittany will soon be back in the arms of her loved ones, and, uh, and she should have been there all along. This is a day we've worked toward for a long time. This new video shown on Russian state television apparently recorded by Russia during a prisoner exchange, the Biden administration securing Griner's release in exchange for the Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. But they were unable to bring home another American, the former Marine Paul Whelan, who U.S. officials say is also wrongly detained in Russia. This was not a choice of which American to bring home. The choice was one or none. Whalen is serving a 16-year sentence after being accused of spying, which the U.S. denies. Sources familiar say Russia is refusing to release Whalen without getting a Russian spy in return, the U.S. insisting it doesn't have any in custody. The administration vowing to keep fighting for Whalen. We will never give up. Whalen's brother, though deeply disappointed, commended the move to bring Griner home. I think President Biden made the right decision. Uh, his job is to protect all Americans. While some Republican lawmakers are slamming the deal. We uh, traded a basketball player for a known terrorist, a criminal. Mixed emotions as one American family is made whole, while others still wait and hope. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Brittany Griner's wife promised that they would join the fight to bring Whalen and other Americans wrongly held overseas home. Griner's wife is a graduate of North Carolina Central University.